Provenance. Noun. The place where something originally comes from. Exciting, provenance, digging into the archives, pulling out work, talking about the history behind it, talking about the origin behind it. A lot of my work, and for the first few years of my career before I started to work bigger, I was working on paper. Found paper, paper that was given to me, sometimes sketchbooks that I would buy. And that was a great, great thing to do. Paper's really accessible, it's really easy to find, but it's not that easy to store and keep for a long time. So it's taken me a long time to figure out how to store and keep all my drawings. So we're gonna walk around and have a look at my folders here where I keep all of my drawings on paper and some of the sketchbooks. Okay, so we see here, I use these big folders. I think they're from Atoya, Japanese brand. And I've been using these to keep works on paper. I started to label these so you can see folder M, folder K, folder J, folder H. So that's so that in my inventory system, if there's a drawing and it says it's in folder H or folder J, I know that they're in here. There's uh, also some other printed matter, not in inventory, past exhibitions and events. So those are event posters. But I think what we'll do is we'll just pull one out at random and we'll see what's in there. So hopefully there's some stuff in there. So let's try folder K. And what I've noticed on this folder is it says folder K works on paper, total 49. And I can see that that 49 is a, a different uh, label. So I'm sure that number's changed and so that the number has changed. So if I open these up, you know, inside I put in here, a paper list of all of the works and so that's if if works go to a show or to an exhibition or are sold I can update them on this list here and so let's just flick through and see what we find uh, let me straighten this up so these are exhibition posters but because I drew on them then they become artwork so these are exhibition posters from a show that was in I believe this was 2019 maybe 2018 in December, Standard Space Gallery in Connecticut. And it was an exhibition called Chantal Martin World Get There. And this was a collaboration with a photographer, Theo Colombe. And we did a cross country road trip from the West Coast to the East Coast. And I drew on the roads and Theo captured those with large format photography. So let me just keep flicking through and find something nice. Actually, it feels like we're talking about a few things now, but this is the original drawing for a mural that I did last year in 2019 for Pride. And it was actually painted larger than life on the side of a building in, in downtown New York, which was exciting. So I was hoping there'd be something a little bit more older in here to, to look at, but these are these are all fairly new drawings. So let me see if I can find something that feels interesting. Cool. So let's, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we got earlier on. I think these are nice to talk about. So we've got two drawings here and they both say B. And if you notice that there is this kind of space on the side of them, and there's a space on the side of this one. So I was drawing these to scale specifically with a, a canvas or a space in mind. And so when I'm drawing something like this, I remember these actual drawings. I was in London at the time and I had to do some drawings for a project. So I went to the local art store, I bought a sketchbook and I brought that sketchbook back to my hotel room. And so I drew these in my hotel room in London. And then I had to try and get them back to, to New York without creasing them. 
but this one later was used for an art print with absolute art so you can actually buy this one as a limited edition print through absolute art and so i'll put the link down below if we end up talking about that but the meaning behind this is that there's three there's three characters there's one bird there's two birds and there's a person and so for me birds mean freedom they mean that how you have the freedom to go and the freedom to be and the freedom to do whatever you want. And the fact that there are three characters, one, two, three, also implies that extra layer of freedom within these birds. This one's quite similar here as well. There's three characters again. There's these two people having this conversation with each other of how do we progress? How do we grow? How do we be what we really want to be? And sometimes to achieve those dreams, to achieve those goals, to achieve those, you know, those journeys or whatever you want to call it, you need some support. You need help to get where you want to go. And so you see the stick figure is actually supporting and holding and keeping the structural integrity of this whole drawing together. Without this stick figure, this head will fall and this head has no more companionship. So the stick figures look like the most simple part of the drawing, but they're the most complicated. So to summarize with these drawings, I think I drew them very simple sketch pad paper. These were drawn with a, a Crink K71. I'll pull one out so we can see. And they are exploring this element of freedom and they were drawn in London, my hometown, which I love as well. So that's great. So I think let's close this folder up. So these are great if you want to store larger drawings. And I, I used to keep all my bigger drawings actually under my bed, but they get quite dusty there. So now I keep them in, in these big folders. Folder K. Okay. 